I, uh, that I rarely talk about, but I cried last night. I, I really got... She, she was enjoying life, celebrating with her friends, and... Uh... Good morning, guys. Welcome to a new video. We are back in Cebu City. And when we get back to the city, or when we find a new hotel, or a new destination, it's the same story. Pack, unpack, unpack, pack. Story of my life. Packing. Unpacking. And me going back to the Oh, Diario. yes, yes. Shirley is doing her thing, preparing for the uh, pageant. I'm gonna go back to the and bringing this to my family. What's that? It's just like a monitor for that. Oh, it's a monitor. Is it monitor? Yeah. yeah a, I'm gonna bring it to my family. When, when did we get that? Last year. With the laptop? Yeah, with free in my laptop. She's gonna bring it to her humble home in Kagaya, which mm -hmm. is nice, something for them to have. Mm -hmm. and, um, so. yeah. We're always working harder to, you know, being able to support everyone around us. Yes. The more big yours guys for the support. I need the water. And as many of you guys have wondered, Finn, why did you guys go to Legaspi without going to the Whale Seahawks or Sorsogan? Yep. And it's a legitimate question, I understand. And Don't Sol. Don't Sol, yeah. Like I told you before in my uh, uh, Dudok video, Wales is obviously my bucket list and that's a perfect place to see them but I don't know if you guys remember the story when I went to Oslo, when I came to the first time to the Philippines uh, I was supposed to see the Wales Sharks, I already booked my tour and there was a massive storm that cancelled the tour and then I did a little bit of research about it and I found out a lot of unethical things that you know are not catering to my image and what I believe in. Mm -hmm. So I canceled the tour. I never went to Oslo. I didn't see the West Shark and uh, I, I don't promote it, but I don't also don't have like any hard feelings against anyone that goes there. It's just what they choose and this is what I choose. Yeah. And we had the same situation in Donso. Like we were super excited to go there and then, you know, just reading some reviews about the place and how the tour guides are behaving and all the boats surrounding it. Uh, whale shark and all that it just it didn't feel right it didn't feel right it's true like I read a lot of articles I mean comments that reviews in it like they're saying that they are chasing the whale shark for them to see it of course I understand for the tour guide that they really want the the tour I mean the tour pe tourist to see the whale shark but you know like it's all fine it's you know? all fine it's but, true but for us, you know, we, we, we want more natural, more wild, like so. I convinced Finn, like I think we're not going to go to Dunso. We're just gonna wait for a while to have all the gears for have a to have a scuba gears, yeah. and soon, in God's will, next year to Batahariv. Yeah, we're hoping for that, of course, and, and uh, for sure you're gonna see everything there. Yeah, macro and micro. A lot of people, you know, they might never get a chance in their yeah. life to see a whale shark. So you know, this is a great thing for yeah, for easy for, to them to see the whale shark in. Yeah. The With that said, I think it's you know it's not too bad. It's, but to me, what I believe in, I believe in the natural way with doing things. That, like I don't like the feeding thing, and you know they should be eating by themselves and all that. As a environmentalist. A nature lover. I'd rather wait and see them in the wild than this. So uh, no hard feelings. It's just my principles and Our what personal I. Way. Yeah, this is what we like to do. But and despite that, I'll buy and a big cool area. This small area, explore was super nice. We love that, and we're definitely gonna come back on For a scooter. Sure. We're gonna travel there in much greater detail. We already got a bunch of recommendations mm -hmm. and places to go. So. Thank you so much, Alba and Bicol, for the uh, awesome visit. And Mayon, you better not be shy the next time I come. Okay? And you know what? Why she's shy? She's moody. <laughs> she's moody. Me. <laughs> 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 Bye-bye. Coffee
prophecy is true. <laughs> Look at them! That is so cute. <laughs> Alright, very basic day editing, emails, and all those boring stuff, but we have to go to the SMO to clean this lens. A lot of you guys have commented, oh, there's like a spot, or you might have noticed there's a spot on the screen sometimes, and I get comments that the lens is dirty, or they think their the phone is dirty or the desktop, so they try to clean it. But it's actually this lens, so we want to go take a look at that. So I'm asking Sony here in Sipu, and they're gonna take a look at the lens. Apparently, it's an easy fix. And a lot of you guys always comment when I'm making videos here about this place, how much is the rent, how do you find this kind of home, I guess. But the answer is always different. I can never give you, like if I give you the answer of how much I rent, it's not gonna mean that if you come here, you're gonna get the same price, higher, lower. It's always different between the owners. So my recommendation is for you to, uh, if you're coming to the Philippines, you wanna stay here, get a hotel and then look out for a place and uh, try to find a good price. But if you guys want me to make a full video about my stay here, my home, comment below and let me know if you wanna see that. But just for your information, this is not my place. I rent it out. I only rent the two rooms, my, my uh, office and my sleeping area. So everything you see here is shared and uh, is owned by a local Filipino that's an overseas worker. All right, let's teleport to SM. Whoa, it's nice that this trick works. Being able to teleport around, we made it to SM. Let's go fix this lens. All right, made it inside the mall. Tons of people today. There's the store. All right, quick stop with the Sony here, and we might actually be going to a Sony event tomorrow. They have like a technician that's gonna check out this lens to see if they can fix it on the spot at the event because this dot is like inside of the lens, so we can't even clean it. Engineers or technicians that gotta check it out tomorrow. It's a busy day, so we gotta go to the top floor of the parking lot. Five floors, <laughs> no elevator. And uh, hello, Sony. Yes, next door, next door, it's next door. Yeah. Oh my god, where am I going? Sorry, <laughs> I know. <laughs> I went to three, two yeah, more doors. <laughs> oh, it is this one. It's okay, okay, okay. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's go check some stuff out. Hey, Jeremy, how are you guys doing? At any given point, if you have a question. Bye. All right, quick cleanup. I think it worked actually. Uh, the guys did a phenomenal job. We can definitely see some changes already. And I'm pretty sure everything is gonna be more sharp and clean in the footage. Uh, it, it's really hard to learn these Sony cameras. They're very complex, high quality, professional ones. So uh, even like six, seven months in using it, I'm still learning everything or new things every day. All right guys, we made it to the mall and I think there's some sort of uh, comic convention going on. There's always something going on in Cebu or in the Philippines. You're never bored. So, uh, bro, let's take a look. What are these? Bye -bye. Stickers. I can pass. I can only count one, two, three, four, five, one hundred. Oh, 20. 20 first roll. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> what is this? Oh, these are all D&D &D stuff. Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons. I used to play that when I was a kid. And it's cool to play it now still. Cool. <laughs> Guys, first roll, 20. So it's my lucky day. It's so fun to live in the Philippines. There's always something going on, like I said before. 
back home in Iceland, there's, ne there's never anything going on. Never. Lunch is done, 3 p.m. lunch. But now, it's starting to rain, so we're gonna put the camera down and see you guys back home. Let's address something that happened in the Corona trip. I uh, got a lot of messages, people saying, Fed, why didn't you bring the underwater drone? That's a great question. But the thing is that we really haven't tested it out yet. We're still waiting for my friend here in Cebu. We're gonna go on a boat and uh, test it out on the ocean. You know, I could drive with it to a beach or shoreline to test it out, but we wanna make a really good video because I know it's a good product. And uh, we're still waiting on that time and opportunity. We're gonna take this submarine. It goes 100 meter deep, like 300 feet. But also, I don't know if I told you guys this, but I was actually invited to become the ocean ambassador of the Philippines. And it's a great honor. And it's an amazing opportunity to be, to be ambassador of the ocean, but I told them that I'm not ready because to fully understand the concept of being the ambassador of the ocean, you need to understand the ocean completely. And even though I've explored a lot of it, I've done like 50 dives already here in the Philippines, let alone, I still don't think I can take that title and become the ambassador if I haven't explored everything. And not just exploring, learning more about the ocean and seeing it in real life instead of reading or hearing from online. Despite I explored quite a bit and uh, a lot of places in the Philippines. So even though my knowledge is really good about it, I still don't think I'm ready for that title. So I respectfully decline and I told them, maybe next year I'll reach out to you guys and uh, I'll let you know if I'm ready. So I believe for us to become the ocean ambassadors, we really have to continue diving and exploring, sharing the good messages and awareness. And to continue to do that, we have to raise a lot of money now for underwater equipment, basically underwater housing around this camera so we can uh, gather up some amazing footage, explore, learn, and understand the ocean better. So that's our short-term goals. We're saving up for that. And if you don't know about underwater housings, they are more expensive than the camera. So I wanna thank everybody that joined the membership yet. Thank you guys so much for that. And all the short-term goals, once we gather up those equipment, which I hopefully is gonna be around September this year, there's like a scuba diving show here in Manila, which we're gonna attend and try to purchase as much as we can with uh, some good discounts apparently there on that shows. And once we gather all those equipment, we can start uh, chasing that goal. And once we have that, we're probably gonna try to find a new home somewhere around scuba places, maybe Mobile or Dumaguete is very likely those two spots we're gonna find a new place. So those two places are very likely for us to move later on this year. So uh, yeah, big things coming up. That's our short-term goals. We also wanna <laughs> probably need to buy a car as well because with all this equipment, this scuba diving drone, the scuba gear and all that, that, you know, I, th I think it's time to say goodbye to uh, light equipment traveling. <laughs> But it's July now, so what's coming up in this month is very exciting. We're gonna follow Sherlyn to her pageant and I might be going somewhere in the south. I might be going uh, meeting up with uh, some of the fighter boys. So when she's doing that, I'll be doing like a trip with those guys. And then later on in the month, of course, we're going to Iceland in July this month. So that's gonna be very exciting. And lastly, speaking about traveling, we have upcoming trip in 2020 in April. It's gonna be a massive exclusive one with a Tau Expedition. Basically, it's gonna be a whole crew of Tau. Everything is included. We're gonna sail around the Northern Palawan for six days. A unique trip that's never been done before. So this is a great opportunity if you wanna travel with me on a very exclusive trip. I'll also be hosting uh, like a seminar for YouTube, Instagram and all that, how to grow, work on your social media and all that. So I'll be giving some uh, really good tips and inside info about that as well. Enjoying this amazing trip, which is gonna be very exclusive. So if you wanna join me on that trip in 2020, there's a link down below in the description. I was, I was in a, like a strange mind, state of mind yesterday after I came home thinking about things, you know, once you're alone, settling down and you're just like staring at the ceiling and just thinking about life and everything and and something uh, happened last night I, uh, that I rarely talk about, but I cried last night. I, I really got emotional because I was watching Instagram stories and my sister, she, she, she was enjoying life, celebrating with her friends and uh, 
she was laughing, she was laughing. And her laugh is exactly like my mom. My mom's laugh was. And it just boom hit me and it made me realize that it's never gonna heal. People say time will heal. I don't think it does. I think we just have to suppress it, keep it down. We'll talk about it like I'm talking about it now because a lot of people tell me Finn you need to be more open you need to share things share emotions and all that but that's not me but here I am trying to do that so yeah that's why I didn't end off the vlog yesterday but it's, it's not an excuse it's just something I want to share so uh, no matter how long time flies by it's just always gonna be like that but the moral of the message is that you can always enjoy life, celebrate life and still be sad at the same time. And that's just okay. <laughs>